In this video, I will show you how you can solve first order linear differential equations using either a homogeneous linear equation or a general linear equation. I will first show you how this general first order linear differential equation looks, and then I will solve one example in the homogeneous case and one example in the general case. Now, I will not use the general formula because I want to show what is the process, how you get to the actual final solution. Okay, so let's start with the general form. So general first order differential equation has the form f of x prime plus a of x f of x is equal to b of x. So the derivative of some function plus some function of x times the function we have the derivative of, the function of x, is equal to some other function of x. This system is called homogeneous if this bx is zero. So let's make a simple example. Uh, our example will be f prime of x minus 2 f of x equals zero. So we start with the homogeneous first order linear differential equation. Now, if you look closely at this um, equation and you remember the formula for the derivative d log of f of x dx, you will notice that this is simply f prime of x over f of x, right? But wait, we can bring this back in this form. Like this is equal to something else. Which means we can integrate both sides and just simply get the log of f of x. So let's do that. So we take this to the other side. So f prime of x is equal to 2 f of x. Then we divide by f of x. Again, assuming f of x is not equal to 0. So let's divide and delete it on this side. Now we integrate both sides. And we will get on the left hand side log of f of x equals 2x plus some constant. Because if we integrate the left side, since there are no lower and upper bounds, we will get a constant integrating the left-hand side and a constant integrating the right-hand side. And for simplicity, let's just take the constant here, take it to the other side, add it to the constant here, and we get one general constant. OK, now hmm, we have the log of the function. But we want the actual function. So we erase both sides to e, and we get on the left hand side f of x is equal to e to the power of 2x plus c. But wait, this c, since there's a plus here, is e to the power of c multiplied by e to the power of 2x. So what we can do is, we can just rename that e to the power of some constant is another constant, and we can say the expression is simply c times e to the power of 2x. And we found the general solution for this differential equation. Now, as you can see with this arbitrary constant here, there's an infinite number of solutions. If we want to go down to one solution, we will need to have a specific condition. For example, f of 0 is some constant a. Then we can solve for the c and have the explicit solution of this differential equation. OK, let's now go to the general case where this b of x is not equal to 0. For simplicity, I leave the left-hand side of this equation the same, and I just add an x. Well, unfortunately, now we cannot bring it in a simple form of f prime of x over f of x. So we need to employ a different algorithm to solve it. The algorithm we will choose is we will employ the so-called product rule. The product rule tells us that 
if I want to integrate u of x v prime of x plus u prime of x v of x dx is simply u of x v of x. Okay? But right now here I just have v prime of x, I have v of x, and I have some factor here. Hmm, okay, so I need to find this u of x. What is this u of x? So let's call that mu, mu of x. We want to multiply the entire equation by this mu of x. Um, but we have another condition. And the condition is that this v of x, which is here f of x, needs to be multiplied by u prime of x. In general case, this means that u prime of x must be equal to a of x times this mu of x. So we can create a differential equation called u of x times a of x equals mu prime of x. We divide by mu of x, assuming mu of x is not zero, integrate both sides and raise it to the power, and our mu of x in the general case becomes some constant times e to the power of the integral of a of x dx. This is the general solution for mu of x. This is the only form formula I will give you. And we can now employ this formula here. Note that if I multiply this mu of x to both sides of this equation, I will have this constant on both sides of the equation. So I might as well drop it, divide by c, whatever that c might be. And I still get the same solution for this equation. So let's do that and simplify and drop this c here. Okay. Now, rewriting this equation, well, a of x here is minus 2. But integrating minus 2 gives us simply minus 2x. Again, plus some constant up here, which will lead to a constant here. But because we multiply both sides of the equation times it, we just drop that constant. Or after multiplying it, we divide by this constant again. OK, so we have this. This is our so-called integrating factor. So we multiply both sides of this equation times this. So we get e to the minus 2x f prime of x minus 2e to the minus 2x f of x equals e to the minus 2 x times x. Let's put the x in front. And we have this expression. If we integrate both sides, we get a very convenient form for the left-hand side, but a complicated one for the right-hand side. In particular, integrating both sides will lead on the left-hand side to simply e to the minus 2x f of x, which has to be equal to the integral of x e to the minus 2x dx plus some constant from this integration. Hmm. Okay, so because this expression is the derivative of this one, we could apply the product rule here. But here we have the product of two functions too. So we need to apply this product rule again, just to reverse this time, right? We have this expression, so we know that to get the overall solution, we need to have this expression minus the integral of this expression. So let's employ that, and we will find that first integrating the right-hand side, we get x times minus 1 over 2 e to the minus 2x. Then we differentiate this function here, x, which we'll just leave as 1, and we're left with that which we need to integrate and subtract, but there's a minus here, and we want to do minus the integral of that, so we can simply say plus 
the integral of 1 half e to the minus 2x dx using the product rule plus some constant. And this constant is now the sum of the constant we got from here and, this, and the constant we got from this first integral here. Okay, now that we have that, we can, let me first erase here on top and continue here on the top with what we actually get. So we get e to the minus 2x, f of x, is equal to minus x over 2 e to the minus 2x plus this integral. But if we integrate this out, we actually get minus 1 over 4 e to the minus 2x plus some constant, which is the sum of this constant and the constant we already have here. And this is our general solution. So we can erase this here. But wait, we wanted f of x, not e to the minus 2x f of x, right? Okay, so we just divide by this, assuming this term cannot be 0. And we get f of x is equal to, I mean, actually, right when we do e to the 2x, we multiply both sides with that. So we get f of x, then minus x over 2. This one cancels. And here, this one cancels, minus one quarter, plus c times e to the 2x. So this gives you the general solution for this general first order linear differential equation. If you have, as with the homogeneous case, an initial condition, so f of 0 is equal to some constant, you can solve for the c here, and you can get the explicit solution given this initial condition. But in general, you have an infinite number of solutions. Thank you for watching.